my genie young is back to show you all how easy it is to make a delicious batter fish we're gonna make some codfish i have an amazing batter you're gonna love this recipe here's the ingredients you're gonna need you're gonna need some codfish okay so i have some beautiful cod pieces you will need lemon you're gonna need one egg a half a cup of all-purpose flour, three, I'm sorry, a half a cup of cornstarch, three-fourths of a cup all-purpose flour. You're gonna need vegetable oil. You're also gonna need baking powder, salt, and water. You're also gonna need some fries. Can't have fish without fries. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing fried fish, Jeannie Young style. I couldn't be more excited to show you all this easy recipe, how to make a delicious batter for your fish. Now, any type of fish that you wanna make using this batter will work, but I do highly suggest try it with cod first. Cod is so beautiful. It has a gorgeous sweetness to it. It's nice and flaky and it's not really fishy. <clears throat> when I think about frying fish, I always say, I don't want a fish that has a really fishy, fishy taste, right? I know some of you right now, you understand what I'm saying. So I chose to use cod. Okay, so let's get started with our batter. Here's how easy it is, okay? We're gonna use three-fourths of a cup all-purpose flour. You do not have to sift it. Half a cup of cornstarch. Just a pinch of salt. Okay, you really don't have to measure it. Just like so. I hope you all are having a great day today. We're gonna go in with two teaspoons of our baking powder. And can you see that lip right there? That lip right there will help you to measure it correctly. Beautiful. When you're using baking soda or baking powder, Always uh, like level it off to get a correct measurement. Look at that. That's gonna give it, that's gonna make it um, kind of rise and be, you'll see. You'll see, just stay tuned, you're gonna see. All right, let's go ahead and crack an egg. Just like so in this manner, let me know, when is the last time you had delicious fish that you couldn't stop thinking about? I have fond memories of my dad taking me to a restaurant and we went, well, no, I'm sorry, not a restaurant. It was like, um, it was a fish market. And when you went in, you could go in and pick out what seafood you wanted and tell them what you want to do with it, right? So my dad would always say, I want the haddock fish sandwich. They would grab it, he would pick out which one he wanted and they would grab it, fry it up, Put it on a piece of white bread with tartar sauce and hot sauce. We would sit in the car in the parking lot and eat that fish sandwich. It was some of the best fish that I've ever had. Okay, so now let's put two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil. You can use any kind of oil you want. I don't suggest using olive oil. If you do, use a light tasting olive oil. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit more because the one was a little shy. There we go. And then we're gonna go right in with a half a cup of water and then we'll do two tablespoons of water. I'll get the tablespoons and I'll be right back. We have our two extra tablespoons of water, okay? And we're gonna give everything a nice mix just like so in this manner. I hope you all are having a great day. I hope you all had a special Valentine's Day yesterday. Happy Valentine's Day. If you didn't get to join me yesterday during the live, maybe you'll see me live on Saturday. I was thinking about on Saturday possibly going live and um, showing you all how I make homemade tacos here at the Young's house. So uh, make sure you're subscribed, number one. Make sure you press the notification bell so you can be notified when Jeannie Young uploads an amazing recipe or I go live to cook live with you all. Okay, so beautiful. Take the time, get all those lumps out. That's why I like to use a whisk. We're gonna let 
this set for about, oh, let's just say seven to 10 minutes, okay? And I feel like the batter kind of rises a little bit more and the fish cooks up better at, when you let this batter set for about 10 minutes. So when I come back, we're gonna season up our fish and I'm gonna talk about how we're gonna coat our fish before it goes into this lovely batter. Let's go ahead and season our fish up very well. Old, old Bay seasoning is going to give you great flavor every time. And here's the thing. It's not just for seafood. It's delicious on chicken. It's delicious in rice. All right. So we're going to use Old Bay seasoning. We're going to use some salt. If you're the person that can't use salt, just leave it out. Let your loved one season it themselves. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, yes. All right. And then we're gonna go in with some salt. There we go. How about we flip it over and do the other side, just like so. Beautiful. And listen, when you bring your fish home, your fish should never ever smell fishy. If it has a slimy texture and it smells fishy, get rid of it, get some new some new fish, okay? So now that everything is nice and coated in our spices, I want this to sit for about 10 minutes. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to prepare my fish this way when I'm putting it into a batter. We've let our fish set in the beautiful spices, oh, for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna take it and we want to roll it in the cornstarch just like so. Let it set there for a couple minutes, okay? and then we'll put it into the batter. I feel like it helps to, for the batter to adhere perfectly, and the cornstarch also gives the fish like a great texture. Okay, everybody, we got some nice hot oil. Let's go ahead and get some fries going, just like so. You can't, you cannot have a batter fish without fries, gets to have them. And so I'm gonna cook these babies until they're nice, beautiful and golden brown, just like so. Let's go ahead and take our fish that's set for about 10 minutes in the cornstarch. We're gonna dip it into our batter, okay? Just like so. This recipe is super simple, and guess what else I love about Guess what I love about this batter? This batter can be used on shrimp. This batter can be used on chicken. And if you have seen my video for how to make um, warsugai, it's an Asian chicken recipe. This is the same batter that I use. Absolutely it is. Okay, so my oil is nice and hot. We're gonna get our fish in there and you must see and hear that sizzle if you don't wait to put another piece in. <laughs> yep, there we go, sizzle, sizzle. Okay, come on in with the second piece. I tell you what, I purchased this bag of fish and I was just sure enough that they were at least gonna give me six pieces. I opened the bag and only two pieces were in there. I thought, are you kidding me? But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Okay, so if you have that extra dripping off, just kind of do this until, you know, that kind of dissipates a little bit. Into the fryer, just like so. Beautiful, don't touch it, let it fry. Let's do a little trick. I like to garnish, when I'm using lemon, I'm gonna kinda of do a zigzag, okay? So you may be able to see, I hope that the camera can show you some justice. Okay, I'm doing a zigzag, up and down and up and down until I go the whole circumference of the lemon, okay? And what I wanna do is, I feel like when you have fish, you have to have lemon on your loved one's plate or malt vinegar, cocktail sauce. And so I wanna have that lemon available, but as I have it available, I want it to be a nice, beautiful garnish. Okay, so we're almost to the other end. Once we get to the other end, it'll be so cute. Okay, and I'll show you when I come back. Once you go the whole circumference, at this point, you should be able to pull it apart. <laughs> You should be able to. There you go. Voila. What can you do? You can put some of your seafood seasoning in there to make it nice and pretty. In my case, I'm going to use a little bit of paprika. Uh, or, or not paprika. I'm going to use a little bit of parsley just to make it nice and pretty. And we're going to put it on the plate. And then they can even use it to squeeze it on their fish. 
Let's check in on our beautiful fries. We got the perfect color. Look at that. Oh, we salt and pepper your fries. Make them taste good. Let's go ahead and turn our fish over. Hopefully you don't have too much glare. I'm using two forks just so that it doesn't splatter everywhere, you know? Just to kind of help it along. Gorgeous. If you wanted to, you can make the oil even deeper so that you can deep fry it, you know? Look at that. Oh, come down and look at that batter. My goodness, Gina. Let's take a look at our fish. It's sitting, and our fries. It's sitting on a cooling rack and a cookie sheet is underneath to catch any oil. You don't wanna have to digest extra oil, right? So let's examine the fish. Oh, 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 Gina, are you kidding me? That looks like Arthur Treacher's. Talk about crunchy, flaky love all over this plate. You bet it is. Oh my goodness, Gina. You have to be kidding me. We're gonna plate it just like so. Okay, and like I said, salt those fries. Make them taste good. Make your plate pretty, all right? Do what you can. Do something like this, show a little bit of extra love. Why not? Cocktail sauce on the side. Okay, listen here, everybody. <laughs> Take a look. If you all get a good view, if you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends, tell everyone you know what Gina Young's doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Take a look. I just have to show you guys one more time. Make you some. My Father, we like to thank you today for this beautiful meal in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Who wants a bite? I know you want a bite. First thing we're going to do, you got to put your fries in the cocktail sauce. Oh, take a bite. I'm going in. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 That's just how good it was. Okay. So now we're going to do this because we have to. Woo, that was good. Crispity crunch. I know you just heard that. The reason why I have to do this is because I have to show you how gorgeous, flaky. Look at that. Gina, now that's what I call fish. Take a bite. Let me know what you think. This, this way too hot for me to try. I'm going to try to give it a taste, though. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Get a picture of the inside of that fish for a Mm. God bless. Thanks for watching. Good night.